So let's make some posts for our little Doberman puppy uh, for cropped ears. And what you're gonna need is a couple of tampons. We're gonna be using the super uh, size, not the super plus, not the regular. A pair of scissors, some medical tape, duct tape, and this is a lighter medical tape. So let's get these going. You need one more thing, a Doberman puppy. So let's get started. Here we go. So we'll unpackage the tampon and then what you want to do is you want to push the little cotton part out and then pull this little applicator back. So I just push that out, pull this back and now we're going to tape. We don't need it out that far, but then we're going to tape this so that it doesn't get pushed back in and we're gonna tape this part as well. And it's a good time too, you can go ahead and cut this little tail off. So we're gonna use two little pieces of this tape. Uh, so some people you'll see, you can use duct tape for this or you can use the medical tape, but we're gonna go ahead and just tape this, real simple, uh, right here and uh, the reason why I cut it, I don't just tear it, is because you want to try to make these as smooth as possible. So I always just peel it back and then cut it and then it's a cleaner edge because the less wrinkles, the better. It's going to be more comfortable uh, in your puppy's ears. So see how we do that there? We just tape that so now this won't, won't move in and out and this little cotton ball will also uh, stay in place. So then I take this tape here and uh, unroll it, and then we're gonna reverse wrap the tampon. So the sticky side of the tape is out. So you just wrap that around there. And that's why I like using this tape. It's a little thinner, and uh, I'll put the links in the description uh, for this, but just wrap it all the way up to the top. This is also per perforated tape, which I don't recommend. So you can see it wants to tear off in certain spots. But since it is perforated, when you get to the end, you can just hold it and uh, tear it. So now we have uh, the tampon is ready. Uh, pretty much you could put it in the ear at this point. But what I like to do is take a couple of pieces of duct tape now because it's stickier and it stiffens up the, t the uh, tampon a little bit. So I just cut a couple pieces of duct tape off. You can stick one wherever. And uh, we're gonna reverse wrap the duct tape onto the tampon as well, uh, just to reinforce it a little bit and to give it a stickier side. So uh, you can pre-cut all this stuff if you want or just do it as you go. But I just put one towards the base just like that. And try not to put your fingers all over it too much because that takes away from the adhesive of the duct tape. And then just one on the top. So the most important thing when making these is, to me, is try to get it smooth. You're gonna have a few little wrinkles. That's not gonna be the end of the world. But the smoother, the better. If you have too many little wrinkles and rough spots, um, then uh, what's gonna happen is it's gonna rub in that spot on your puppy's ears, it's gonna agitate them, and they're not gonna want uh, to um, keep them in their ears, so they might start messing with them more. But that's pretty much it. That's how you make the post. You just gotta repeat that step. All right, so I went ahead and made the other one. So now we have the set, and we're ready to post. So uh, if you wanna see how you post, I'll be making another video and uploading that. I also have already made a video of uh, unposting, so how you take these out of your puppy's ear safely. So thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and uh, comment below. If you have any questions, you can do this. It's not hard. You can get those ears perfect. You got your whole head in there. There we go. <laughs> there she goes. Oh, you're gonna go right back in, huh?